everybody, my name is William and I work for Park 55 Creations. I do all of the 3D printing and making of your guys' files. So today, I want to show you guys how to make a simple cookie cutter with the stamp. So the first thing we need to do is import the file. And the file that we're going to import is an SGV. You can get those files from Etsy. So we're going to import the file to Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a free program that you can use to make STL files for your 3D printing. It is a wonderful program. I have nothing but good things to say about it. So in the next portion of this, we're going to scale the cookie cutter down. So we're going to do 2 inches by 2 inches. And then once we've got it scaled back down appropriately, we're going to come over to the copy, and then we're going to paste it. We're going to paste three of them. So the first one that you're going to do, you're going to grab one, you're going to come over to where it says fill mode. Then you're going to click it, and you want to do a silhouette. So what the silhouette will do is fill in the cookie cutter completely. The one part of the cookie cutter for, for the stamp. The next thing we need to do is we need to scale it down, or shrink the height down. So we're going to take it down to 4 millimeters. And that is about 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch thick. Then we're going to take another ghost we're going to do the same thing, scale the height down, but we're going to go to 5.5 because that will leave about a sixteenth of an inch above the silhouette cookie cutter that we have. So we're going to grab that, and now we're going to group these. But before we group these, I'm going to align them that way, when I go to group them, they don't group off. So we're going to trace it again. We're going to come up here to the group tool, and we're going to group it. So now that, the stamp is now done. So we're going to take the stamp, we're going to move it. We're going to grab this other cookie cutter, the other part of the cookie cutter, and we are going to change that in fill mode to outer line. That'll give you the basic outer shape of the cookie cutter. We're going to take our line width, and I'm going to bump it up to 8. I found that between 8 and 10 on your line width is perfect for a cookie cutter because it's, it's not too thick, and it's not too thin, but it's pretty rigid. So the next thing we need to do is change the height again on it. So we're going to go from 10 to 12.5. And the reason I go 12.5 is because of how thick the stamp is. So because the stamp is thick, we're going to grab these again. And I'm going to reline them up. And now we need to shrink our innards a little bit. So we're going to go to 50, and then we're going to do the same thing over here, 50.70. And that should give you enough to shrink it to where it will fit inside of the cookie cutter. And then once we get that, just the way we want it, then we are going to export it. Apologize guys, I didn't adjust it right, so bear with me. And now that we have adjusted it properly to fit inside the cookie cutter, 
we are going to um, separate these. And then I want to come up here to the copy tool again. We're going to grab this. I hit copy. We're going to do paste just to make sure it did it. Then we're going to delete it. And then we're going to come up here to export. And we want to export it as an STL file. Then once you do that, you can put it on your desk, on your um, screen, or you can put it in a folder. And then once we've got that stamp portion of the cookie cutter exported, we are going to delete it. And then we're going to paste the outer line of the cookie cutter. Now we're going to export that one as well. So once we've exported that one, you just put it on your on your main desktop or in a folder and then from there you can take it and put it into whichever um, 3D print software you guys use to make your 3D prints and then I'll just drag and drop start the slicing and get it on its way to printing and then in about mm, maybe hour, hour and a half, you'll have one part of a cookie cutter done. Thank you guys, and have a great day.